Sin has taken miles from me when I only gave it an inch. Sin has kindled fires in me that I do not know how to extinguish. Sin has moulded a pride in me so that I am never content with my portion. Sin has camouflaged itself in the lens of my eyes so that I see through a lens of distortion. Sin has led me to places that I didn't want to go and kept me in places that I wish I didn't stay. And sin has carefully carved a rebellion within me so that it would keep me from his way. And sin has placed the things of this world in my mouth so that I'd struggle to know any godly flavour. But praise be to God who did not leave me to my own desires or call me to be my own saviour. I was a blind man led by desires and lies, but somehow his spirit came and took scales off my eyes. I was a man who did not want light, but somehow his spirit made me new and the invitation of evil I now despise. I was a lost man guided by the world's leading. Somehow his spirit has caused me to rely on the one who hung on the cross bleeding. And the tons of my sin and the weight of his grace are put on a set of weighing scales. And even though my sin is heavier than any worldly mass, his grace and mercy always outweighs and prevails. And as I walk through this battleground, the enemy yearns for my view of Christ to be tainted. Somehow his spirit helps me to grip to the truth of Christ's words. And time itself bows before him. He and his words will never be outdated. And his spirit has caused me to realise that all I have, my life itself, is rightfully his. For perfect I am not, but perfect he is.